in your own word then tell me what your setup thought is at the moment what you're thinking about when you send the golf ball what am I thinking about yes what's your one sort of checkpoint I suppose you had in terms of the position of what we discussed in the uh, well, in the worried setup. about my hands. Your hands, okay. So specifically about your hands. What are you looking for when you hold my that hands. club? Is that my sort of... I can see yeah. that bit. Yeah, excellent, now. good. So that's going to be the focal point now. If we look at these two grips here now, very different in position, yeah? Your hands, again, are together as one unit, whereas here they're kind of on top of each no. other. And the fact we can actually see the end of the club at the top there, mm. whereas this one, it's sort of hidden underneath your left wrist joint. So that, at the moment, is the number that one. One's bad that this one's yeah. So this one here now, okay, in that box, is not such a good position, okay? That one there in the circle, fabulous position, okay? Yeah, that's funny. Now, what you'll have is when you hold the club on the left, okay, to create power, we do a couple of things, okay? Now, because we can't hinge the wrist with that left-hand grip, you've got to try to modify or create movements in your body. You also might notice that your left arm looks a little bit more sort of into your body here, okay, because your left hand's in that position, kind of bends the left arm, which again will reduce the power you can create, okay? So as we go back, left foot starts moving, okay, so I'm almost like a, I'm going to really sort of step into this one and try to get as much power as I can. Now, potentially, by moving that left foot, you might create more club head speed there's a pretty good chance by moving that left foot you miss the ball or miss yeah, hit the golf yeah, ball. Yeah, so as a result of a more speed but missing the ball, it's an irrelevance to the golf ball and the ball's not going to get all that information to it. All it's going to see is the club sort of swishing across the top of it as we see in this case. Okay? And the ball then scuttling on the ground mm. there off to the right. Okay? Losing a bit of control there and a bit out of sync and out of balance. Okay? Whereas when your grip got better, okay, nice and relaxed as we said, much better position in terms of your hands, as as your grip's in a better position, okay, you can hinge your wrist and your feet now, your base of your golf swing is more stable, yeah? Uh, yeah. So when you return back to the golf ball, boom, lovely strike. Because you had a much more consistent lower half, so now you can do this and you can hit the golf ball nice and consistently, return the club back to the golf ball to where it started and the ball going 50, 60 yards kind of thing. And again, because your grip in your left hand was better, you were able to swing that club with more efficiency, should we say. And that is going to be the number one thing, okay? And I think for you, it's going to be identifying, and you said in your, in your own words now... have problem with people holding their golf clubs. Probably most people I give lessons, to be fair. Because naturally, when the... If you hold that club a second, if a club sort of sits at an angle like this, people tend to want to hold it by just putting mm. their hand under like this. So their lifeline now sits under the grip, like so then you grip it in that sort of fashion here. Okay, because you're not holding the club kind of down here, but that's where the handle needs to be gripped in. And I've had men, women and children of all ages, all abilities, okay, spend, I don't know, one lesson up to one a week to six months trying to fidget and twiddle the grip. And what you'll find is that there's people I've taught now, or still teaching obviously, who we've worked on the grip for a long period of time, they've got it, started playing nicely and then three months down the line they kind of default back to the old style and they sort of there. but what they'll find is so if you think where you are now sort of so here's where you are in terms of ability wise so that's sort of along there and we'll say a green circle is kind of where you want to get to okay so what you'll find is so lesson one first shot you know, missed the ball a few times and the ball went three or four yards okay then we got the golf ball going 50 yards so your progression now did this okay then you're in and practiced worked on your grip didn't quite feel comfortable, came back, and you kind of were this way, okay? Mm. So, slight, this is fine, so slightly dropped, okay? Then last lesson, we worked on that grip again, got the club in that position, we started doing this, okay? First few shots today, we came back, and we're doing this. And now your shots are doing this, okay? And then you might do this, and then that, and that, and that. And that's mm. kind of how your progression is going to look. The thing for me is, though, is how you react now, okay? Every time I said, I went up the chart, silence. Every time I said you went down, oh, here we go. So the negativity was more of the emphasis on your reaction, when in reality, if you go to a straight line, you've done that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you are getting better, but we always focus on the 
negativity of terms of, oh, I've slightly dropped down rather than got better again. And it's almost like you take sort of one step back, three steps forward, then one step back, four steps forward, one step back, three. It's that kind of way. Because any time you're thinking about something, it takes a bit of time for that information to digest. But interestingly, when we had this, the first few shots, I said, okay, what are you thinking about now? Having said about the grip, you were thinking, so I'm four, looking four. at the ball and trying to hit it or not miss it. So your mind now is completely focused on something completely different. It's not really going to help you swing. I mean, I could stand there when I'm, I know, if I was flying an aeroplane, I just hope I fly this plane. I can't fly a plane. I got as hope as much as I want to try and do it. It's not going to work, is it? You've got to know the basics and know what you've actually got to do to better control the okay. plane or the club. So don't worry about other things and don't try to overthink I or over panic. I think I've got to get that grip has got to be saturated. Massively, massively. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Saturated. I mean, an interesting way to look at it, I don't know if your husband or you drove the car today, okay, but when you get in your car next, just when you hold the steering wheel, how do you hold it? You probably hold it kind of with the hands there. Yeah. You wouldn't be holding it in the palm kind of around there, yeah. would you? If, you? if you had to drive this way, you'd hurt your wrist after a few miles. Yeah. So your hands would just sit on the steering wheel like so. It's kind of where you hold the steering wheel kind of that way, similar to the way okay. you hold the golf club. Okay? It's very strange to me, because I was doing it for years, but a lot of people hold carry bags, handbags in female cases, or male cases, you know, um, steering wheels, golf bags as they walk into the driving range. Mm. A lot of things they hold down by the side, even up here, ripping the fingers. Yeah, yeah you, get a, you, get a, you get a golf club in yeah. your hand, they just shove it straight up in the lifeline and they hold it kind of up here. So this left arm gets kind of sort of Is tucked up here. Is that the worst problem you have with people? Um, most... It's probably... Well, the hardest thing to try and get them it's out so the hard, Exactly, yeah. It's so the hardest thing to change grip because it's, it's what attaches you to the golf club. If I said to you move a foot backwards or forwards, it's kind of like I can do that. But yeah. to move around your hands out of the golf club is very, very difficult. People do take a while to change, some longer than others, okay? But getting that club in the right position, attaching you to that golf club to give you the most control of the club at mm. the end. And at, at the moment, the grip doesn't probably feel as comfortable as you want it to feel because you're doing something different to what you naturally want to do. So it does feel a bit strange. But in time, that will become just a second yeah, nature. Like I'm yeah, sort of, exactly. Turn yeah. your hand over, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. But it's rather than sort of doing that, it's just dropping the club from up here down there. So my arm's not changing, but I'm not going and doing that. I'm just dropping it down further in the fingers, where you would say handbags, carry bags, golf bags, anything you want to hold or carry, even lift, you'd grip it in the fingers because your fingers have got a lot more strength there than wrapping them around you, having a, a gap between your fingers there. Okay, does that make sense, Anya? So simplify the thought. I will. And don't, and again, it's the most, I think it's human nature in some ways. As we're going up that chart there, the second we started going, and you went, you went, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you, you almost hit, you probably wouldn't wear it. I, 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 I often do that kind of thing, just to sort of yeah. see how people react. And it's interesting, we're, we're very much focused on the negative, aren't we? When I said, oh, yeah, you did an amazing shot there, and you had a bad one, oh, did I? Oh. And you're always worried about the bad one. Okay, we're gonna hit bad shots. I played, I played, golf, I played golf yesterday. I hit probably 20 bad golf shots. Okay, but I enjoyed myself. Had a bit of fun, and I got around the golf course and it was a laugh and a giggle. Yeah. And you gotta look at what you play golf for. Mm. Okay, are you looking to compete and play in massive tournaments? Probably not. Are you looking to get on the golf course with your husband, other ladies, and stuff? Have a bit of social fun, enjoy yourself. For me, that's something I'll be doing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll get there. No problem. Right. No.